Okay guys, it's Nashi Sims and today we are here with yet another Sims 2 conversion speed build. Today as a continuation of the last build we did, which was with the Spectre family, who in this general layout of Strangerville actually live across the road. So, hmm, spill the tea guys! <laughs> so the Beakers are a family who basically have adopted nervous subject who is the child of o um olive specter i almost said ophelia that would have been really awkward uh, <laughs> of olive specter and the grim reaper i don't know quite logistically how that works but sure whatever so <laughs> in the sims 2 uh the this household lives at one tesla court and the couple loki and Circe beaker are uh, the owners of this house and their description of the sims 2 goes along the lines of what experiments are the highly secretive and less than neighborly loki and circe beaker performing on poor nervous subject will this secrecy affect circe's career ambitions so circe is in the medical career and loki is in the science career i believe um and essentially they're basically experimental scientists who uh, basically exploit the fact that Nervous Subject has come from inter um, interesting and possibly questionable origins and perform all sorts of horrendous uh, experiments and tests on him because interestingly, like, he, I mean, he doesn't have any relationship with his inverted commas father per se because well you know the grim reaper hard guy to get your hands on like <laughs> so um and their family continues um to appear all the way through through the sims 3 and there is a um a version of them on the gallery in the sims 4 um with a very similar bio so in The Sims 4, it's written, um, what experiments are the highly secretive and less than neighborly, neighborly Loki and Sir Speaker performing on poor nervous, nervous subjects? So that's pretty much the same. And, but, plot twist, is it true that their, inverted commas, children are clones? What makes nervous subject worth experimentation and will the secrecy affect Sir's career? So, 80% of that we know already. But in The Sims 4, there are two children which look a lot like Loki Beaker. So in this build, I kind of had to adapt a little bit and I made um, a like a room for the two clones um, in the upstairs bit and I ended up moving Nervous Subject's room into, um, into part of the lab. Um, I thought that was kind of more fitting for his story, for him to kind of be in this little sunken area of the lab. Um, which is really quite, honestly, quite depressing. Uh, the poor guy, like, he just, like, he has a horrible run. And, um, so, yeah, I basically just went to town with all the get to work debug stuff and the Strangerville mystery debug stuff. Um, because there's, in The Sims 2, there's a lot of, like, career rewards that make up their lab, but we don't really have that kind of thing in The Sims 4, like, not to the same extent. So I, as I said, I just crawled through debug and found a whole bunch of um, cool kind of ex science -y kind of uh, med medical kind of things. Um, like I've got a surgery table in there, which is really sinister and I feel really bad for giving up. No, it's a, a kind of a really crappy space. Um, <laughs> like, I mean, but I wanted to um, kind of exploit the fact that in the game, it's basically alluded that he's a scientific guinea pig so the poor guy um and i think he's literally described as their test guinea pig on the sims um fandom wiki um which is <laughs> really depressing the poor guy um but yeah loki and sir speaker don't get along with any of their neighbors really um well may and they really don't like the curious family interesting because uh, Vitkin's Curious was originally Circe's first boyfriend, so there's a little bit of tea to be spilled there. Uh, <laughs> but um, she um, has no interest in um, Vitkin um, since, and 
basically is very driven to be promoted in her career. So basically, the it's interesting that their names are, are from sort of your Greek um, mythology. Um, Loki is obviously the god of mischief and trickery. Um, and Circe is a demigoddess in Greek mythology um, who had an affair with Odysseus. So I don't know what that implies in terms of like their law and stuff. But um, but yeah, and then Nervous is basically, um, Nervous subject is alluding to the fact that he's a Nervous test subject, <laughs> the poor guy. So yes. Uh, so I did end up taking up quite a few creative liberties with this build because, again, okay, this is one bone I have to pick with every single build that I do in The Sims 2 that has a telescope. Why do we not just have the plain, simple, standalone telescope? <laughs> like, I've, um, so spoiler alert, in a few videos time I end up doing, um, the Caliente sisters and Don Lothario's, um, condos. And I'm going to smash those into one video, but um, obviously Don Lothario also has a telescope on his, um, on, his, on his condo roof. And these guys have a telescope on their roof. And the goths also have a telescope on their roof. So they all have very obnoxious observatories sitting on the tops of their roofs. And it really bugs me because it's really clunky and it just, it just, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it's like you're just you're ruining the vibe. So uh, if the Sims game team could bring back like standalone telescopes anytime soon, that would be marvelous because that would make my um, what's the word? Um, my obsessive need to make things relatively similar. Um, it would it would just bring me a lot of peace of mind. Uh, <laughs> um, but yes, so. Anyway, back to the build. I realize I've been rambling a lot, a lot about the law and stuff. But yeah, this is the kids' bedroom. I ended up making, as I said, I made this build somewhat compatible for the Sims 4 um, versions of the, of the Beaker family as well. Um, but yeah, so I made the little play space. I didn't focus too much on that because, as I said, it's not really... Like, like the two kids and the two clones are not really what you think of when you think of the Beaker family in terms of like The Sims 2 lore. Um, you think of Cersei and Loki and Nervous Subject being experimented on within an inch of his life. Uh, but yeah, it's a really sad story actually. I feel so sorry for Nervous Subject, like the poor guy. Um, but yeah, I ended up going through um, a lot of the Strangerville debug stuff as well. Uh, as you can see. Um, so if you do download this lot from the gallery, you will need to have the code um, move objects on um, to place it. Otherwise, you'll probably be missing a lot of the debug stuff like that um, observation tower or like the flight deck tower. I'm not quite sure what kind of tower it is, but either way, you will need move objects on. So <laughs> um, and I ended up making it, um, adding a little touch of like a yellow dump stuff or like a biohazard bin. Anyway, so this is the final build. I was pretty happy with how it turned out. I think it's a, I think it's a new and kind of modern take on the whole secret lab thing. Um, but yeah, if you want to download it, it will be on my gallery. Uh, my ID is Nashi11, and uh, hit like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video and want to see more. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.